Hi, my name is Jason Renault, and this is the second video in my hand-painted series. Let's get to it! Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the area where the leather is going to be painted and create a layer mask by clicking the little layer mask icon below the layers. I'm going to start this by selecting the base color, which is going to be this brown here, and then I'm going to start adding the darker stains. I'm going to be using the chalk brush at about 20% opacity. Now, uh, it's very important, again, like I mentioned in the last video, that reference uh, is key to making a good texture here. And then I'm going to do the light stains. Uh, the technique I'm using now is I'm using a 20% uh, opacity brush. So once I've painted it, I'm using the color picker to select it and then painting my gradient myself, which means I'm painting 20% of the 20% which is giving me a nice gradient color. And I'm using the same technique for the lighter stains. Uh, after this, I, I'm going to start picking out the areas that I want to really pop out. Leather is very similar to chipped paint, where once it starts lifting, uh, larger chunks of it is going to lift from the material. Uh, and then I'm going to add, again, the darker colors just to really dig in those crevices. Um, and the final step to the, the actual painting here is I'm going to add the ambient occlusion. Uh, so this is going to be the really dark areas where the metal meets the leather. And then I'm going to add a bunch of little stain dots here and there. And that's the big challenge in doing hand painted textures is always defining how far you're going to go. It's so easy to get carried away with the details. Once my hand painted textures are done, I'm going to create a new layer and add a radial gradient here change the layer style to multiply, change the opacity, and this is just gonna make the texture pop that much more. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something, and please don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comments below. Thank you.